Hey y'all. Um, so I am going to be doing my May TBR slash MBR. Um, this is going to be a little different this month because I have a readathon coming up in May and, um, it's the Who Done It readathon, um, which is hosted by Danielle at Bookchara, Naomi at Naomi's Bookshelf and Paige at Pages with Paige. And I believe you can still sign up. Um, so what it is, it's not actually mysteries, but you're, I think, playing like a clue game. So as you read books, you get a card to find out, you know, on your little clue sheet. I really have no idea how this is going to work. Um, I don't, I don't retain things. I don't feel like, um, when someone tries to explain it, I don't really understand until I do it. So, um, I think I understand, but probably I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But um, I know we only have to read three um, three suspects, three weapons, and three rooms. And then we can guess. Um, I think with each of our submission, we get like a clue. I'm not 100% sure. So again, kind of playing it by ear here. Um, however, I am going to try to read all six suspects, all six um, weapons, and all nine rooms, but, you know, that's 21 books, so it's all going to just depend. So I have my picks for all 21 books, and I'm not necessarily going to prioritize them um, because I tend to be very mood, like much of a mood reader, so what I end up reading kind of just depends on how I'm feeling at that moment in time. So, um, I tried to pick a variety of stuff and then we'll just kind of go and, you know, obviously if I get through all 21, awesome. If I get through nine, that's fine too, you know, and then anywhere in between. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through them. So there's essentially, they have like suggestions for the prompts, but you can also like interpret, um, the prompts as you see fit. Um, you know, as long as you can make sense of it. So I'm going to go through what I picked. Um, all right. So the first one, okay, so we're going to do the six suspects. So the first one is Colonel Mustard. And because he was a soldier, um, one of the suggestions for the prompt was something that has to do with war. So I have Slaughterhouse Five because I have never read it. And I feel like I probably should at some point. So, um, I know this is going to be, a, even though it's not that long, I think it's going to be a little harder just because it, it's kind of weird. And I mean, I might be wrong. It might be super easy to read, but um, I think this is probably going to be a slower read. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and then for Professor Plum, they have a nerdy character as an option. So I'm going to read Dungeons and Drama, which is about a D and D nerd and a drama kid um, who have, like, a romance in high school or something, and so that sounds super cute. Uh, for Mr. Green, I picked Murder Funding, and this actually hits this twice, because Mr. Green is green, um, and then also it's having to do with money or investments, and so this is, has a green cover, but it also is about, um, funding this murder reality show, which is the sequel to, um, Murder Trending, or hashtag Murder Trending, so that's what I picked for that. For Mrs. Peacock, I'm gonna I'm still doing the Harry Potter readathon. So um Prisoner of Azkaban, because one of the options was anything dealing with time. Um and this is the one with the time turner. So um or I think it's called the time turner. Um it's been a while, so we'll I'll find out what it's called. <laughs> like if I if I got it wrong. Um for Mrs. White, they have um Mrs. White slash Mr. Orchid or something. Um, and they had, um, anything with flowers on the cover. And so I picked the Glenmare Girls, which is an arc I've had forever. And so I need to get to, so that's what I have there. And then for Miss Scarlet, a red cover, I picked Heartsick from Chelsea Kane. Um, I got this for Christmas and I've been really excited to read it. So I'm going to put that on here now for, um, weapons. So for Candlestick, Anything that has to do with light. Um, so I picked the trap because the cover, the um, headlights, you can see the headlights um, in the car. So there's light. Um, and then for knife, I picked heads will roll, which obviously an axe isn't a knife, but it's a sharp object. And um, that's an arc I have. So I'm excited to read that. And then for rope, it said something twisty. Um, and 
I picked Red Rising um, because I looked up books with twisty endings or twists twists in them and that was on there um I don't know anything about this except that a lot of people really love it and I've had it forever so I'm like uh I think I have seriously had this book for like 10-15 years so I feel like I should just get around to reading it or I don't know how long it's been out but I feel like it's I've had it since it came out basically um and then for Revolver um they said anything six because it's usually a six shooter was one of the options so I picked the six which is a book I have on my Kindle. I don't know where this even came from, but, you know, I think I'm, like, trying to clear things out of my house and trying to clear things off my Kindle. So it's called Six, so it seems like a good one. Um, for Lead Pipe, it was Anything Toxic was an option because lead is toxic. So I'm going with Mothered um, because this is about, like, a toxic relationship between a woman and her mother. Um, and then for Wrench, it said, um, I forget why, it was something about, like, something heavy, maybe, something, um, about building something, so I, I forget what the connection was, um, but I went with A Better World, because it tied into, um, one of the prompts for, um, Wrench, and, um, this is an arc I also have, and this is supposed to be dystopian, so, um, kind of excited to read this one. All right. So then moving into the rooms for the hall, it was a, I picked the part of the prompt that said in any book with a building on the cover. So I have Little Eve, which has been, I think, on my list forever. I think this is the la only Catriona award I haven't read. Um, I have to double check. I feel like, I think it's the only one I haven't read. Um, and then for lounge, it said cozy or relaxing. So, the Children on the Hill is not really cozy or relaxing, but it is about people with, like, psychological issues, like children who go to, like, this sort of um, hospital to, like, get better, you know, to deal with their mental health issues. So even though, like, it's not cozy or relaxing, I mean, I kind of think of it as, like, a sort of, like, healing place. So that's what I kind of went with for that. For dining room, it was a gathering, um, so I went with the astrology house, which is also um, kind of a horror, murder mystery, whatever, having to do with, um, this is a wellness retreat, um, so I mean, I guess I could swap those either way, um, but this one I think is more about like people gathering um, than obviously a hospital. Um, for kitchen... I went with friends in Napa, you know, anything having to do with food or wine. So this is obviously has to do with um, people at like a wine resort. Um, then for ballroom, I picked where you end, which was like a party or a dance or a big event. And I think this is like about a masquerade ball. I don't even know if that's actually what it's about. I don't, I don't totally understand what this book is about. And that's why it's been kind of waiting, but I keep hearing it's like really twisty and weird, which is usually my thing. So, um, yeah, so that's why I, I'm going to read, try to read this one. Um, for conservatory, it said anything to do with glass. Um, and I picked dissolution because it has, like, this cool, like, I guess, like, stained glass sort of window. And it's about, like, the dissolution of, like, monasteries and stuff. And obviously the church has a lot of glass. I mean, this is kind of a stretch. Um, but I didn't have a lot of books about, like, gardens and stuff, so. Um, I was like, well, and I actually really want to read Dissolution because I'm pretty sure, um, the first, like the show or whatever is coming out pretty soon. Um, for a billiard room, it was anything having to do with a game or sports. So I'm picking Reprieve, which is sort of like, I guess, a literary horror about an escape room where everyone dies. Um, so, um, that's like a game. And then the last word for library, because anything having to do with books and um, then for study, it could the option was um, nonfiction. So I am going to read How Sassy Changed My Life. And I actually have every issue of the original run of Sassy. And then they, like, they changed the formatting um, in the mid to late 90s, um, mid 90s. And it became kind of more like 17 than sa it, it, like its own thing. So... Um, at some point after I read this, if I don't end up reading it this month, I do want to read it soon. And at some point I actually want to do a video, um, and I can actually kind of 
show some of the original sassy magazines and then like the later run which I still have a lot of the uh, later run but I don't have all of them um I just collected the original run um because this this magazine is very great it is great um it's a whole thing but I'll do a whole video on that because that's like I have like all of them and I want to talk about that in general, but I kind of was like, well, this would be a good chance to read the book too. Cause I can talk about the book and then talk about the magazine as well. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my TBR for May and we'll see how I do. Um, all right. Bye.